Show me what you just said off camera. That this stinks? Nope. I don't like plumbing, but I will definitely feel a sense of accomplishment when it's all done. Welcome back to our do-it-yourself off-grid home build where Charles has come to a point when the next steps in finishing the yurt depend on getting the plumbing sorted out. So this week Charles is working on a project outside of his comfort zone. The first goal is to get the drains and vents to a point where wastewater and the smells that go with it end up outside of our future home. In fact, that's one of the reasons the bathroom will be fully enclosed by four walls and a ceiling, even though the rest of the space will have an open floor plan. Charles was pretty focused on his work while he was putting together this vertical drain between the toilet and the septic system. So I asked him about it later in the day. It's just the riser coming out of the ground where the pipe comes out of the ground from the septic system and that has to go up into the house and get teed off for drains and vents. The black piece of pipe is a rubber sanitary tee that makes it a little easier to put the system together with, with the mouth them being perfectly aligned because it's flexible. One of the hazards of plumbing the septic line while using it at the same time from another point is that it stinks to open it up. Luckily it's pretty cold out here so it's not super stinky but we can smell it a little bit. Charles is in the yurt struggling with the bathtub drain, but it looks like while I was at work for a couple of days, he got a lot done down here. So I'm trying to plumb the bathtub here, and it's not an easy thing to do because three different places have to line up. Need to line up going down this hole, down below, down to the P-trap. And then it has to line up, this pipe here has to line the drain up perfectly, which I'm getting pretty close there. And then this has to come up and line up with the overflow. So that's what I'm trying to get done here. And it's just one piece at a time. And it has to be in the right order or I might not get it in. And here's the finished product.
So, bathtub is all done, except for I need to glue the feet trap below the floor here, and then tighten up these uh, interior parts here, just to make them waterproof. But then the, the tub is installed. Now I'm working on the bathroom vanity and washer dryer drains. This is the main stack coming up from below and it'll go up. It's the main vent stack up and out. What I've got here is the T that goes up to the washer dryer drain. And I'm in the process of working on putting another T a little higher. It'll go straight across to the vanity drain, which will be right here. Big grip. Here comes the stinky pipe. And a shelf here for shampoos and stuff. Blocking in, put in all the protector plates so you don't put nails or screws through the pipes. Good afternoon. Charles has been pretty busy with projects and I've been pretty busy with work and filming. Sometimes we forget that we live in winter wonderland and I thought before the day was over it might be nice to go out and take a walk. This snow was not in the forecast but apparently it didn't really care about that. At the moment, the sun is out and the snow is still coming down. Normally, I would not walk this far in the snow because it actually takes a lot more energy to trudge through the snow. But I was feeling restless today. Haven't been on a good long walk in a while. This beautiful spot is the watershed public land that backs up to our property. There's actually a lot more public land here than we could even possibly explore on foot in a single day. And this is what I brought you here to see.
So tell me, Charles, how do you feel about plumbing? I do not care for plumbing. And tell me what you don't like about it. I don't like PVC pipe where when you glue it together it's final and if you're gluing in small spots that the you could have to scrap the whole system and start over. Wow, my hair is wild. 